Hello, everybody, and welcome or welcome back to Slice and Dice 3.0. Always excited to be back to this one. We're going to be going in for a classic hard mode run because, I don't know, there's so much to explore yet. In fact, we could actually do a green character run for the first time in, like, a normal run. And I'm excited about that idea. So that's what we're going to do. We got two, like, I'll call them warriors, a mage, a healer. And what do we even call these? Miscellaneous? They're kind of like, they're, they're sort of like the unhinged characters. Uh, I guess before I pick my stuff, let's figure out what the heck Tinder even does. Three self-damage mandatory. Upon death, deal one, one damage to all enemies. Two damage pain, one damage single use. This, ah, uh, <laughs> I think I might want to get rid of that, uh, some point soon, but interesting. So we got the ruffian who's only got four health and has a five damage pain side. It's a little bit spooky. Uh, all right. Okay. I, I think we can deal. I mean, getting the healer is actually quite nice with the, uh, the tinder and to an extent the ruffian. We can, you know, we can protect you know, 5 damage, 4 HP. If we use that without any armor, it's obviously a death, but hey, we'll deal with it. Add a Wisp to every fight. Gain a mana on its third HP. However, it can inflict pain. It can summon bones. If you died last round... Okay, a hero that has died last round replaces all sides with blank stasis. That completely nullifies the tinder. All heroes start with poison for every equipped item. That is unbelievable. So it's between the wisp and the early curses, which could just not be that big of a deal. I think let's go with the early curses. I feel like it's kind of a fun one to do. All heroes add sticky to the left side. For the most part, that's okay, because usually that side is quite good. Maximum of four spells cast per turn. Let's do that, actually. I think we can we can build around that idea. Let's just not take cheap spells and we're good to go. So this is mandatory. Must be used if possible. We can try and re-roll it. Gotcha. That does make it a little bit better. That does indeed make it a little bit better. This is already pretty good. Understood, understood. So, like, if we grab it, then we have to use it. That's just the, that's the whole thing. But we don't have to grab it. And that helps. That helps a lot. What do we have? We have Scorch. Uh, one damage cleave is single cast. Can only be used once per fight. Mend set a hero's HP to five. Yeah, nothing wrong with that stuff. We're done in this fight in the, uh, the very next turn. Nothing really to worry about there. Like, I'd be quite surprised. Okay, we're not done for sure in that scenario, but... I'd be, I was going to say, I'd be quite surprised if we did not roll two damage. Okay, so the Tinder's actually quite good in uh, in actuality, with a little bit of a weirdness to it. Collector, Gladiator, two damage, Engage. I kind of like somebody with a little bit of self-shielding for us. Potential four damage burst right away. Um, four damage is a really important threshold in this game, because... Well, it, it, less and less as you get more, but early in early unlocks, four damage is a really important threshold because that single kills uh, the bloated zombies. I, I kind of like it. I mean, Collector's very good, though. I feel, like I've, I feel like I've taken Gladiator less than Collector in my life, so we'll go for that. All heroes will add pain to all sides that have exactly three pips. <laughs> That's an instant kill on Tinder if you ever roll that. As your final, it's Pain on the Prodigy, which is indeed the name of my last album. During the third turn, plus one pip to all enemy sides. You know what? It's it's rough. There's some things where if it goes from... It's mostly scary in the situations where it takes something from one pip into uh, another. Okay, so why are you taking damage? 
Oh, because you're dying. But that I'm going to I'm going to try and fix that. Hey, um, Prudge, do you, you want to ever roll a face once, please? That would be really cool. So the tinder is just, in fact, going to die, but, like, it's not that big of a deal. It kind of helps us here. I mean, I might as well heal. It's not really going to do anything. But yeah, it, it's kind of like... That's the nice thing about that character, right? Is they die, they die. Not that scary. Not that big of a deal. I swear... This prodigy has not once... Give me, give me a shield attack. I... It's a two and six. It's a one and three chance. What is going on? It's like, it's not like it's a one, you know? Uh, we might as well take that. Come on, prodigy. Prodigy. Am I out of my mind? I'm just doing this because I want to kill that way, even though it's riskier. Revert all changes to the left side. Three max HP death is permanent. Oh, gee, let's put that on the tinder. Revert all changes to the left side. You know, tier one items are rarely useful. Um, I will get it for the future. They're, it's not it's not that they're rarely useful like they're rarely that big of a deal but I love I love taking tier one items that have the potential to game break with the right item late you know uh bottom character gets poisoned for one oof all monsters with 20 or more max HP gain spiky. Over my dead body. Sorry, my healer. I will have to, uh... I'll try and find some way to get a cleanse off. Uh, I'm gonna go bold. It's a one in six that I get something that's better. I actually think I like this. Yeah, we actually can do a lot here. Okay, hold on. <laughs> do I... Oh, wait, we could have done the... Well, the cleave cast isn't that helpful. Is it? No. So we could do, like, a scorch... It's kind of redundant, more or less. So we go for, like, a burst, followed by a burst... Which does mean that the healer would get smacked here. Oh, this is awkward. This is really awkward. We might just a actually sacrifice the tinder at this point. Because you're doing four damage. Oh. We'll probably just accept the damage on the prodigy. It's the only way I can save you. We could... Let the tinder die and just kind of do that explosion stuff. It's sort of like, well, what what's the other alternative? Like, maybe you'll get this. Sure. There you go, pal. I think I think that's the way we utilize the tinder is just to self-sacrifice a, a lot. One mana does help. Okay, so we go burst, blast, blast. Good. Uh, Sinu, medic. Heal to regen. Wait, I, I think we go for that. Set hero to 4 HP. Um, I would say set hero to 4 HP for 1 mana is better than set hero to 5 HP for 2. The one downside is, like, we don't like cheap spells. We like bigger, uh, more powerful spells with the curse that we took, but I think that that's fine. And regen is another way to counteract poison. Must be equipped. Start poisoned. 
middle hero times two to incoming damage if you've gained no shields. Mm, that's interesting. This is all interesting. I'll grab it. I'll grab it. We could do the poison and put it on the tinder. Like, I, that's not beyond me. Uh, definitely would like that. I'm leaning towards just, yeah, same. Same deal. It's kind of what you're here for. Could we save you? We could, I mean, we could save you and then just instantly end up killing you again. Which feels odd. The burst? No. The, uh, the Tinder, it's a, it's a weird one for us at the moment. I, I can't deny. A very, very weird one at this exact moment in time. I mean, what am I fishing for? I've, it'd be fishing for the pain. Fishing for pain. Um, I think. We just accept this. And then uh, really hope for a kill next turn. Ah! <laughs> oh my. Okay, thank you. We already have it, right? Yeah. Now that now we even more have it than we did. Replace the two right sides with shield two growth and one mana growth. Uh, start of turn. Start of turn one. Self heal for three. Only makes well, it could be fine for the tinder. Actually, it could be interesting for the tinder. But I'm gonna get rid of the tinder. So like, don't don't build around that. I think we take the terrarium because it's immediately useful, and there's some characters where it's useful for the whole game. Because, like, I don't know. You might have the dead sides anyways. We use these up, then the prodigy uh, has nothing. So, that works fine for me. Just accept it. No, am I? No. We'd rather, we'd rather get, like, the one damage in the shielding. All right, well, the tinder might just uh, explode themselves anyways. Come on, you guys can do better than this. All right, can we choose the order? I'd like to kill you for sure. Oh, do I? I want to kill you for sure. Maybe not. And then we have renew. We could do that next turn. We could do it this turn too on the uh, on the the tinder to save its life for one turn. Try and sneak out a little bit more damage. All we need to do is three damage next turn, and we're fine. We're, we're good to go after that. We, that. That's that's as spooky as it needs to be. I'll admit it's a bit on the spooky side. If we grab that stuff, we're already okay. I don't really want to do the five damage blast with the ruffian. Uh, thank you there. There, we're, we're good, we're good, we're good. First, AoE, we actually get to heal up the Tinder. Scrapper, I like the Scrapper a lot. Two damage, weaken single cast. You being a little bit more reliable is not bad, and then we can move your buffs over to, I guess, the healer? We lose our cleave. Oh, but... I mean, this synergizes well with the tinder. This is plus one pip for every damaged enemy, and we could go with that mixed with the tinder, like, dying. But again, we're probably not going to keep the tinder. I don't really want to make too many decisions around that. There's a world where we could keep a tier one to the whole game, but it's so much less likely than keeping a tier two to the end game. Glacia... Glacia's not, like, a keep it till the end game kind of thing. Scrapper, I could. Like, there's a world in which I keep the Scrapper the whole time. There's no point to do anything with this. 
Push the blind do again. At the end of the turn, if no damage was dealt to any monster, I flee. I kind of doubt we're going to go for that. Heal to regen. I have just realized, um, where's the scrapper getting his shields from? <laughs> I just realized that. It would have to be from burst, which is, which is possible. But it's a bit odd. I do like that. I do like that. Ah, oh, God. Come on, give, give me the... I risked it. I risked it. So who are you attacking? You're attacking down there. We could go for a... Who's attacking the project? You're attacking the project. You're doing two damage to everybody. Um... Okay. Two damage to everybody surely has to go. But then then we're screwed there. Uh alternative unlikely scenario. Do we somehow have the ability to overkill the militia? I can't imagine we have the ability to overkill it by the amount we needed to. We can kill the militia. No, we can't even kill them. We can't even kill the militia. We needed to... I guess we needed to keep that. Did we? Not really. We don't have any way to do three damage, therefore there's never a way where we can save ourselves from the bandit. And we can't burst kill. This is a bummer. This is a uh, this is just not a good turn for us. Uh, I think that we just have to accept. I mean, the blind would just run away if we didn't do anything. We could consider that. Is there a way to safely do nothing? No, there is not. Uh, all right, I think we just have to accept that this is a bunk turn. Uh, we're going to lose the prodigy, and that's just going to have to be fine, I think. I, I don't really I don't really see another way around it. I do think that this kill makes some sense. Then, yeah, we can't save the prodigy. We can save the medic and get rid of that poison at the very least, which is something. Or we could heal up the tinder. I think getting rid of the poison is interesting. Yeah, I don't think that, um... Well, I mean... Nah, yeah, I don't think we would have... I don't think we were saving the scrapper or anything. This is good. This is good. This is good. Those are all great. Um... Again... Yeah, I really... I messed up... Uh, I think I messed up with my choice of the scrapper. I think that's my mistake here. You're attacking the gladiator... I mean, we can't get enough shields on you to make the, uh, the militia just run. But I could. That's that. It's a possibility of a thing that could happen. Oops. Wait. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Is there a point in renewing? No. I think that that's kind of how we have to accept this for now. Could renew the tinder, but I think we'll just save our mana for next turn. We could just do it next turn if we want to. All right. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I think we have to live a little, man. Like, dude, it's not great, but it is uh, good enough. You just accept the one damage. Thank you so much. Oh, man. Wait, do we, like... We don't have, uh... God, our damage is weird. So you're attacking down there. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. The 2x damage is actually smacking me. So, you know what? I guess I might have to, um... Kill the militia and let the tinder die again, which... Let's be honest. Doesn't really matter. It's it's okay. A hundred empty max HP 
and a hundred empty max stored mana. The hell? There, the mana part is irrelevant on a limit to four mana or four spells per turn run, might I point out? Uh, but it is kind of nice because you could save it for exactly when exactly when you need it. Um, enchanted shield start of every turn. Self shield for one completely uh, invalidates the um, the curse, though. I think we have to take that. As much as that other one seems really interesting, getting like a whole mess of regen on somebody with like a hundred health, you could just have one unkillable unit slowly working your way through, like healing, you know, healing 30 HP a turn or whatever and having 100 max HP. There's something wacky there. But this just completely uh, nullifies my my curse, which I think I have to do that, right? Heal to cleave. Annoyingly, it's not going to be that good. Well, goodbye on turn one, my friends. Stop feeding. <laughs> it's pretty good. I would have liked to get the kill there. Man, I I don't want my Tinder to be dying on turn one. The good news is we should be getting offered. Oh god, it's gonna. Yeah, we should. No, we're gonna be getting offered. Uh, bare minimum, the ability to upgrade. I think a heal two cleave is actually incredible. The scary thing is I kind of want to do that to keep... Oh, wait, we don't have that much mana. So I guess we would kill the Slimer. A, we heal, get the one and the one. We could... Eh, who cares? We're good. It is spooky to, to upgrade the Ogre without being a little bit more confident that I'm going to be killing him next turn. But it's fine. I... Yeah, I gotta, I gotta get, I gotta get rid of the scrapper. I think. I mean, I eh, the damage all like the three damage there was pretty nice. It's like, am I gonna get it again though? Yeah, I don't know. No, the answer is no. Okay. I think we're just gonna lock there. We don't want to use the spells that turn because, like, what are we, what are we gaining? The heal to cleave, it completely uh, saves us for a turn. Dude, these are... Okay, thank God for the Prodigy right now, because, like... What is happening? Uh, so since we can't kill, we're saving up our mana. We literally need one mana or one damage on this turn, and we are good to go. We can just hit the rolling. Burst, burst, get out of here. The Mimic. What is your deal? Replace my sides with the middle base sides of other heroes in petrify order from top to bottom. Jester's very good, but uh, these are pretty good sides. I like it. And then we're done with the Tinder shenanigans. Replace my sides with the middle base sides from other heroes. So, like, you only have... Okay, but you also have the X's. So we have... Because, yeah, there's... Yeah, it makes sense. Duh. All right. All right. Interesting. And if we did something like this, we could replace that with an X. A blank, unset face. Why would I do that? No good reason. But I sure could, technically. In oh, 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 my lord. Thank you, thank you. Sure. 
dude. We we need to we need to get you guys doing something here. Uh Man, it's just so much that I gotta do. I mean you are gonna stun yourself next turn, which is nice. All of that just to live this one turn is scary. But he does gong, and he at least um, stops himself from doing anything this turn, which is at least something. I would love the AoE heal cleave, but I'm just not sure. Sh Renew is actually probably better, in fact. Lucky. Do I... Do I do it? Come on, give me the one six or two and six. Okay, so we would need to renew down here in order to save you, right? Well, kind of. What is the? Is it possible for us to get the kill up here? It's not possible for us to get that kill. Is it possible for us to save? It is not possible for us to save. So, the plan is instead, save the people we can save. We can save the Renew here for next turn. Or we could do that. And then at least the Fanatic is gone. I think it's fine. I don't love it. I don't love it, but we definitely win this fight at this point. This fight has... Ben one. Who wants to fish for like that's not gonna do anything on its own. I'd rather fish for mana. Uh oh, that's not enough. And no form of it would have been. Oh, this is upsetting. Because, like, we weren't looking for one damage. We were, we needed to find another thing that could do two. There's a small chance... No, in fact, no. I was right. We have, we have nothing that has... After locking the two mana, we had nothing that has the ability to do a single point of damage. Aside from that. So, yeah. No, that that's why I didn't... I was like, in my the back of my mind, I knew why I didn't lock it. But, yeah, this is... Definite, definitely unfortunate. I don't really care that much if the prodigy dies here. It's not great. Upon death plus four mana. That's interesting. Replace the three right sides with one damage range copycat, one damage copycat, one damage or one shield copycat. That that's good. That's good. That's that's just good. Mm. So we want to save it for like Ooh. Ooh, interesting. Wait. This way we could go for the steel and then maybe i mean but you're not gonna really have that much shielding either yeah the shield faces are, are just not that helpful for the time being uh what other things would we want to copy cleave being able to copy cleave is kind of nice i don't care a ton about those specific sides this is really good for getting rid of like more empties but the bloodlust side i really like and also I'm going to want to be able to copy the Bloodlust, I'd say. So, boy, what does that leave us with? It might leave us with, like, this. But I want the Prodigy gone. That, that, that thing I do know for sure about ourselves. Bloodlust engage is a little bit at odds with each other. If only I could uh, swap this one back, I probably would. I think this is fine, but not great. What is the fountain? Plus one mana. Oh. Okay. 
Okay. It is the beginning and you're at full health. Dude. Dude, come on. So, let's think about that. We could go boom. We, we do want to get rid of the imp. That is a thing we would like. So much damage coming in on these fools. I don't hate it. Well, we, we do not want to take in that poison. That is going to be pretty rough for us. Lol. Uh, a shield and a shield is already good enough. It's not my favorite. But we can leave it for the renew. And this is actually a really good spot for like hitting the fountain and then just renewing a bunch. Yes. I feel like, especially looking at this, we want that heal cleave quite a bit, but... One damage copycat. We need something decent. I mean, well, let's say that the self shield. The self shield is indeed a something. It does save you. We get a little bit back. It's interesting. Oh boy. Okay, this is... There's a lot of options here. So let me... Let me... Let, let me have a think. That feels problematic. To leave that there. This does keep us all alive, but it is also, as I have said, problematic. That that gives us a, a dead carrier next turn, but we can also wait. Because, it, again, it's next turn, so it's... What's it going to do for us right now? Uh... Oh, yeah. Use it or lose it. All right. So it's kind of like kill this turn or uh, sort of or else, if you ask me. Uh, the good news is we are plenty fine. So we can go for a bonk. 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 We need to kill the fountain too, huh? All right. The prodigy's actually been pretty good. One damage poison single use. So you, we also have to keep in mind that you're copying the middle of whatever we have here. So copying the two mana is not bad. One damage single use poison is not bad. Probably, probably change those out. God, this is awkward. I'm not wowed. What, let's look at the spells. Four mana, get it next turn. Eh. Uh, scald actually, you know what? I'll take it for the Scald of it. But this does leave me with a weird spot for this where I think I'm going to go for this one, but... Maybe for the Bloodlust is, is better. We also have the Copycat Shield as a possibility. I think it's fine. This is a lot of damage coming in. Yeah. I wouldn't mind a like ranged attack. The shield with the copy. Okay. Interesting possibilities here. So who's dying? You're dying. We now have the three damage. Which puts that down to two. 
Ooh. It's weird. We don't have an extra mana, so we can't go for the... I mean, I kind of like this in terms of just getting rid of lots of them. I'll tell you, no matter what happens, like, next turn we're probably completely fine, right? So I think I don't... I actually don't think I need to think about it too hard. I could sit here and uh, get a better turn out of that. But just looking at what's left and knowing my average rolls, I, I think we are going to be fine here. Yeah, boy, are we ever. That should be That should be more than enough. Mini crossbow. Top side turns into two damage range and gauge. One max HP and replace the rightmost side with stun an enemy with equal or less HP. I actually like that for the Mimic. I actually like, like that a lot for the Mimic. Who has a weird amount of HP. And an empty right hand side. We might actually end up keeping the Mimic. A little scary here. Yeah, on turn, on turn one, that goes... Ooh. I was going to say, I turn one, that goes far. Hold on, though. Uh... Stun you. We can't do anything about the whiz. Like, this is just a little too awkward for me. If we're not killing anyways, we could do, like, the two. Oh. It's just because we want to separate out the damage, kind of. Like, it's usually a bad call. But here I don't mind it. The thing that sucks is the uh, the double bone summon is going to be a little, little weird. We can use it to our advantage if we do things right here, though. Oh, baby, that's good. Um, uh, range cop copycat. Wait, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Let's think. It's going a little bit too gung ho here, but let me just um process if we actually just kinda have this with a scald maybe I love that two damage to all damaged enemies yeah we yeah I mean it's pretty good uh, you're attacking down here as well Skull doesn't do anything for you, but sure. You may run. Undo 500 times. Let's go. I'm, it's a lesson learned. Keep on doing it. Okay, so you copy the middle side. So if we copy the scrappers, unfortunately, we are done getting the bloodlust. We're done with bloodlust across the board. It feels like we have a lot right now, but we're done with it. We're done. We could get steal the cantrip from Kronos, though, which I do like. I like it. I like it uh, plenty fine. Baron, I remember you are wild. Okay, so you uh, you have a weird benefit where you give us mana for every second HP. Inflict exert. Okay. What are we dealing with you? We kind of want the stun. The shield on turn one's pretty good. Oh. I think that's... Well, I was going to say that's good enough, but we actually kind of want to steal a copycat again. 
Oh, a four, just a four damage blast is kind of nice too. Let's just, let's play this turn out for a sec. What is tick? One damage weak and cleave. Feels pretty. Feels like a pretty good choice. I gotta say, I kind of, I, oh, if only, if that was just good enough there, I would have, uh, I would have been really pleased. But just to be clear. We can't, we can't save it. No. Oh, we can't save it on that. Why do you both have to be targeting my medic? Because that would have been, that, that would have been such a good turn. The ghosts, I'm not going to be able to do anything about that there. Um, this is your best side for just raw damage. I I don't know. I'm finding it hard to believe that we're going to get a better turn out of this. I think we'll just have to change up uh, the end of it. So if we did this, and then we instead just went for the uh, the burst. I think that's good enough. Are you exerting? Inflict exert to target sides for a turn. It's not a mu as much a problem right now as it is a problem next turn. I don't like that you're sitting there with one above the invincible. I also, I just don't... This is a weird one because it's going to be... Uh, we're not going to necessarily see... The, uh, the downsides of what we've done until next time. Okay. Let me just, let me just analyze. Any way where we can kind of just like... Okay, that's already good. So let's just take a look. That's four to do three damage. Is there a reason why that's? I mean, this this makes things really safe, and it's it's already it's good enough. It's good enough, and we're going to be able to kill next turn for sure. Uh, wait, I forgot about the jank that we had here. That's what I was. That's exactly what I was saying. You, we actually. That's exactly. I set myself up for that. We don't know how bad things are going to be until next turn. Thankfully, we got the uh, the Baron out of the way, so it was completely irrelevant, like I thought. But that was really risky. Copy the left side to the middle side. Interesting. Interesting. Ooh. Add cantrip to sides that have one pip. Yo. There's times where that can go poorly, of course. Those can get cantrip already, and especially this could activate those as cantrip anywho. Which means that we're going to have two things kind of throwing out random cantrips pretty frequently, which is very scary. Um, I think it's worth it. If it gets cantrip and bloodlust on, like, a reroll, it's really good. I'm going to wait a sec, just in case we get the reroll. Okay. Wait, finally! A, something that actually worked pretty well with it. I think it hit somebody. Who did it hit? Oh, it was only one and it hit the... Uh, okay, gotcha. Interesting. Um, we could kill the Knoll. And we could actually end up killing you too. That puts us in a bad spot. As seems to be the, you know, reliable... Oh, well, I don't know if I can actually ever... Oh! 
no matter what, I can't save my medic. That's, well, not, okay, not no matter what. I have to do that in order to save my medic, which feels a little odd. And it also doesn't even save my medic. I gotta do that to save my medic. There we go. <laughs> I was like, I have this somehow. Works for me. Medic's in danger, what's new? Oh, Mimic's in danger. Oh, this is, this, this I love. We want to keep your, both of your dice in case you get the reroll. Like, God, that's so interesting. We, we've, we've set up a potential very broke. Okay, well, the Wanderer is very good. Um, oh, no. Wait, what the heck? Oh, we just got lucky. No, 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 no. I was gonna say we got lucky slash unlucky. We could um, I I could change out the. I could change out the gladiator easily to like, I could change it out to the wanderer. And you getting that side is actually really interesting. Oh my god! And then on the can trips. Okay, so we obviously need this on somebody. The question is. Who? I could even do it on you. Actually, I actually kind of like that a lot. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Kind of like that a lot. Uh, you could just do this. Oh my God. Well, I mean, okay, it's only it's gonna only be on one, but it'll then spread the. Oh. Totally. Then spread the curse. This seems really good. I don't want to just pick Wander every time I see it. Like, it's so good. We got to keep on rolling because both have possible cantrips. We have the spike, uh, the spike guy. Do it. It's so risky. But we kind of have an interesting, like... Yeah, just hit all the, hit them all. So what is this? This currently has steel. We could copy it. With what? Growth? The bandit's almost gone, which I... I do like to go for the overkill for it, but I don't think that that really lined up here. No wolf summon, even. Feels like too much, especially when we're going to be thrown out... We're going to be slinging some random cantrip attacks here that are really unhinged. It can only go so bad. Oh god, this is this is making me shaky cuz it's so it's so risky. Except it's not. Okay. Alright. Start with two regen. Replace the rightmost side with target here can reuse their die. Troll blood on the medic is obviously good for saving that stinker reasons. Oh, this this is gonna be better. We we don't have any spiky enemies, so like throwing out some random attacks is gonna be good. It's, this is kind of just like a we need to take what we get kind of a build, which is really interesting. We don't have to. 
Oh, God. Okay. Uh, yeah, no. See, like, it didn't... I would not say that it ended up working well for us uh, to do that. I would not say that in the slightest. But, like, it's all about whether or not it could. And the answer is it absolutely could have. But it also absolutely didn't. And we are now in danger. Kronos, you really, yeah, really beefed me here. The only one who's taking literally no damage. If we're not killing you anyways, do we try and fish for the bloodlust? To do like slightly more damage across the board? Oh, God. This is so bad. This is so bad. I mean, the good news is we will have the Wanderer and the Mimic who both have um, the Defy faces, which in this scenario is really good. I mean, they're both one-off regardless, so we might as well do the one that's got slightly more HP. Yeah, this hurts. We got we got bopped. Got bopped by the RNG of the weirdness of the build. It just has the potential to oh my god. It has the potential to go so well. So you're attacking me there. Can I I can't. Okay, that's not a kill on the ogre. But it is close. That feels worth it. Wait. I thought that you were... Oh, you are. What's worse, the poison or the direct damage? Probably the, probably the poison, right? Probably the poison. All right, fingers crossed, man. This is a really cool build that relies on some absolute shenanigans. God, this is, this is an almost for me. I'd rather get the uh, the era. Okay, we have the possibility of getting the reroll. We got the, we got an era. We got the stun. Okay, we're good. Just like. I'm just accepting that because I see that I see that as a win. Oof! No, <laughs> no, we're not putting that in the pool of possibilities. Thank you very much. Um, weekend. Weekend's a fun thing to have in the pool of possibilities. But the fact that we get like, yeah, we're gonna get. No, we don't want heal and boost because we would attack and then boost. We can't give that the plus ones. But yeah, the barbarian is just the the most. Well, I was gonna say it's the most no, but it's it's not the most no per se. Uh, what's the witch got? Salve to ah, not great with the um the whole low business that we've got. I do like the five cleanse. It does put me in a spot where I don't know who to copycat. Um. We could do... No, we can't do that. We could, but we shouldn't do that. Oh, God. Maybe that's actually still fine. Oh, it's getting rid of some good faces. But... Um, we don't have anything to stop the kill up top, do we? Yeah, there's literally nothing we have that can um, stop the kill up top. Oh, and you also still get the heal five cleanse, which is interesting. Okay. I think we want to. I think we want to let things fly, because we want to roll cantrips. The cantrip spin sides is the big thing. But now I'm like, 
we do have to be careful because if we run into that same turn as last time, more or less. I never, okay, I never got the thing that I was hoping for, which is fine. Let's get the mana first. Heal five, cleanse. Fantastic. Um, we could do one damage. Ooh, we don't want to do that. Huh. I mean, we could do the one damage to one shot a specific spider, which I think getting rid of the... Wow. Wow. Wait, that copies the era? I think getting rid of the poison's probably a little bit better. We're we're gonna lose the mimic like maybe even like kind of randomly here. And it's it's we're so rewarded by random rolling with this that it's hard to not do it. Nothing matters here. We're also not... We, we basically... Delaying a turn is incredible for us. Okay. Ah. Probably should just accept it at this point. I think that's good enough. So we could also... Hold on. If we did this, then we can, like, full shield for just, frankly, ludicrous amounts. Because they are getting hurt for a lot more. So the Mimic is dying here. The, the Mimic is dying. We might as well way to turn to facilitate it. Cause like I like I said, I don't think I really have anything in the old tank, yep. To to help us with that. Do we have a kill? Yeah. I don't really have a I don't have a death dodge thing here. Add Weaken and Pain to the top and bottom sides. It's very scary. Add Trio to all damage sides. Times three if it has the same pips as the two previous dice used this turn. Possibility that Copycat could do something with that. If we copy... Uh, if we copy a Bloodlust... Wait. That's got some... That's got some possibility of... A meme dream. Oh my, this is so weird. This is kind of like a we just have to roll and see what happens kind of a day. Chaos uses <laughs> side with five keywords. So that could be a triple. I think we'll lock on that. What am I hoping for here? Okay, uh, wait, if this, that has, that has triple, it does not have triple, because that doesn't technically have the same pips, this is breaking me. Okay, what we could do what we could do is the four damage on the zombie. Four damage here, you get a go again, but then you don't have the same pips. But you could have the same pips if we then just do this. So this gets tripled at the very least. It doesn't get tripled. Why didn't it get tripled? This has one pip. This has one pip. Ranged copycat. should be tripled times three if it has the same as the two previously used dice this turn
that's a lot tougher. So, because we can't... This counts as using one. All right, we're not going to be able to get that to go. I feel like this is a fantastic um, answer. Though, so... Do this... Oh god. Ah! What's happening? Where am I? Where am I? <laughs> what is happening? So if we want to do that, then we would actually go boom. the hell that's not good though because then the mimic dies we can't do it quite like that we have to do the three damage down here as much as i would have liked to do it in a different way all right this is this is bizarro uh oh wait hold on mimic might die mimic might die we might need to be a little bit careful here i'm just gonna accept that because yeah no the mimic can't die God. Ah, <laughs> my brain, <laughs> my freaking little brain. All right, that 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 works fine for me. So if we put the bloodlust on the shield, we can like really save you. I think just delaying a turn here is kind of nice. Okay, hold up. This does... Okay, so then we could go for the tick. This gets the kill. Alright, we're good to go. How I'm even, like, 5% wrapping my head around this run is, uh, is definitely beyond me. So we kind of need to lock your stuff, because otherwise, uh, funny man going to die. Like, I'd rather not lose the Mimic here. And we can do that by going for that. Uh, we can even do, like, Era followed by Era, and we're good to go. I don't really think we can justify copying anything here. On pick, gain a random Tier 6, Tier 7, and Tier 8 item. I don't think I can justify it. I don't think I can swap you either. Charge, pip for mana. I think the bloodlust faces are just better. I uh, I have my endgame build, I think. Thanks, though. Ooh. 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 Um, so what is happening? You are, you're going for the, uh, the full block there. I think that that's the play. So we want to start attacking you. Full block. Um, and then I guess I will... Oh man, we actually almost... Is there a world where we... Wait, did I waste any damage? On anyone else? No. You just do crazy amounts of damage. You have bloodlust, right? Yes, okay. It went. Uh, sorry. It, it's a lot to manage today. It went up to four at the end of that because uh, we just... Okay, hold on. Because we just damaged an enemy because these guys have eight armor and we just broke through it. That's why that happened in that way. So we could just, like, accept that and lock it in already. So this is copying Bloodless, right? Yes. I mean, that's probably...
probably just good enough. And the Kronos can, you know what? Sure. Yeah, you just do that. All right, this is, uh, it has the same pip value. I mean, doing the eight. I don't really need to worry about that. We could just do want to get rid of the shade. Which means we'll do it in that order. Boom, bang, boom. You're attacking down here and apparently I'm just fine. Start with eight shields unused. Oh, because you rolled the five damage. Not every one of your sides has steel. That's why. Gotcha. That's a nice thing. Yeah, you can run away. Place the left side with 10 damage, heavy, charged. Plus one pips to all sides. Um, There's got to be somebody that it's good for. Kind of good for you. I might get rid of the uh, the, the Qatar. Oh, but it doesn't really matter for the uh, purpose of the Bloodlust ones. Most of my sides are like one pip sides that get improved. I don't hate it for... I don't hate it for, like, the, the Mimic or Chronos to get more rerolls. Because that gives us a lot of value. The Charge Hammer is interesting, but I think that I have Horus. Like, either, like I said, you know, on here so we can possibly just get a lot more rerolls. These are sides that are modified uh, by other things. So I don't know, know if I care. We could just do... Like, I know I could do this, and it does technically, like, count, and it's cool and whatever, but... I, I'm liking the way this looks a little bit better. Uh, with the plus one, mostly on the back of these rerolls, hoping that, um... Yeah, hoping that that's good enough. Because it's, it is very helpful to have those extra rerolls. I don't think I need the one on that and the one on that as much. And the extra mana right away, sure, why not? The double on the the cantrip is interesting. I could improve these, and it is very tempting. Um, But I think I'm just going to go with this. With a little bit of a... Eh? Okay, I see that, and I am taking it. See, there's the double, the the two on the rerolls, which is very big. Okay. All right. What banshee do? After the first ability, each turn is used one damage to all enemies. And we could do something like this. We'd want to we'd want to get these attacks out first. Being okay with taking that damage, uh, and then honestly, just another tick. Kind of just means that I'm not worried about this. We could possibly kill on rerolls here if things go right. I love that in the end, um, activate a growth on a single side four times. That's a, that's pretty beautiful. Like, cantrip growth side is so good. Uh, I love that in the end, the steel actually really mattered. That in the end, it like actually ended up being really good for us, which is the jumble? Change to a random side every turn, retaining keywords and pips. This is very... It's its very cool. Uh, it, it's very cool, but I don't think we can... Oh my god. Wait, you, you, this is the plus one on every side, which means the reroll. We, we have to... We have to stay with what we have. Like, this is a man who does a million damage. Like, do we just lock this? No, we, we wait. We wait for the reroll meme dream. 
and we just hope we get another. Oh god, we just keep going. Or do we just lock it? We could just lock it. All right, hold up. So let's see. How much damage do we get done? Quite a bit. So you are doing... Your thing is you just do a lot of damage to everybody. Yes, yes you do. Okay, so we could like... Let's just force science. How far down the HP pool would we get? Really far down. Um, that being said... I don't think it's the answer. Can I not save my Kronos? Wait, what? I ne I didn't roll that block. I didn't roll the block. I can't save my Kronos? That's super annoying. That's super annoying. Nothing I can do to save him, huh? I can do so much damage, but... I can't believe that I can't. That seems wrong. But it's not. We just didn't roll the shields. I guess that's that's that, and that sucks. Okay, he's going for summons this turn. There's... Oh, we got the... I think the weaken is a really good call. I think accepting accepting the weaken for sure is, a, is probably a good call. As much as... Oh, as much as that's going to hurt. Incoming yikes damage. Uh, we have the poison down here. We didn't roll any mana. That went poorly. What is this? Kill the topmost enemy. Just straight up, huh? Hoping for the random cantrip sides, please. Thank you. Oh, we got the double reroll. That's beautiful. Thank you. All right, we're, we're in the clear, I think. Maybe. Okay. Uh, just for just for science here. Do we have this? We do indeed. We, we, we have it in the, uh, the caveman, smash man overhead with rock kind of way. And uh, honestly, it's my favorite way. That was a fun run. That was a really fun run. Uh, early grave, add pain and cantrip to all sides with three or more pips. <laughs> that that was a very fun, very dumb run. Uh, God, I don't even know what else to say about that. That was just very silly. Oh my God. Alas, alas, though. <laughs> There's the mimic. Um, so yeah, that was... Hold up, that was... Yeah, it was tier two. God, I can't even wait to... So the statue... Okay, so the statue is now a green hero. So this, this is... Uh, of all the things that I see down here, this is the only one that was a hero already. And I'm actually really happy to see it turned into a green one. This used to be a um, a tank character, a, a gray a gray character. This used to just be a gray character, and it was honestly one of my favorite ones to use. It looks bizarre. You're like, well, why would I take somebody who has all X's? Well, like, there's obvious reasons. If you have the right items, turn all X faces into blank. Like, there's there was an item we had, I think, a few days ago that was just like you know, turn your X face into like some, into some really good side. Uh, and then you can do like all pips that have, for example, like turn all of your empties into, uh, you know, two damage sides or whatever, two damage ranged attack sides. And then like, or one damage, and then we get the cantrip or something. So no matter what, this one always shoots out 
blank thing. Like, it can be really, really good. Uh, but it did not make a whole lot of sense being it as a normal character. And I wouldn't even be shocked if it was, like, sort of the impetus around even making a whole separate class of characters in a way. Because it was a, such a cool one, but it was weird whenever it showed up on a run where you didn't have the items already. But I'm glad that it's still in the game. I'm glad it exists. And I'm really, really into the idea of these green heroes. They seem to itch the part of my brain that I like itched so much, which is the take something, frankly, kind of bad and figure out how to make it truly broken, <laughs> you know? The mimic was very helpful today. It was not... I wouldn't even call it the core reason we were so successful uh, by any means, but it was just very helpful because it just exacerbates... Uh, the demise for the enemy that was already coming. Alas, alas, that's that, though. That's going to do it for today. Thank you for watching. Check out the channel for Rogue Likes and more every single day. Tomorrow, we're probably going to be going into a generate mode if I were to take a stab in the dark of how I'll feel. Thank you, thank you. And I will see you next time. Bye.